This is another symbol that you will find in Catholic churches, which is a bird, and to the Catholics it symbolizes the Holy Spirit in the shape of a bird. Okay, but the Bible is very clear about these pictures in Exodus 20 verse 4 you shall not make you for yourself a carved image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above birds or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth so no fishes no birds he's saying no creeping things Romans 1 verse 23 and exchange the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. And where do... What does this remind us of? Egyptian gods and goddesses. Let's look at them. The head has a bird on it. This head has a cat on it or whatever it is. Another bird another bird bird even a crocodile here okay a lion head and the scarabaeus is very famous bug creeping thing that they worship okay exodus 20 verse 2 i am the lord your god who brought you out of the land of egypt out of the house of slavery this is basically the whole story of Moses leading the people out of Egypt, pe people of Israel out of Egypt. And Egypt itself stands for sun worship, for worshipping multiple gods, for worshipping the creation, the creatures, instead of the creator of it all, which is God. Ephesians 2, verse 1 through 22. And you were dead in the trespasses and in sins, in which you once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air. And who do we know is the prince of the power of the air? Satan. The spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, like the rest of mankind. But God, being rich in mercy, because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. So you see, passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, basically means death to God. So how, when you go back to... Uh, I gotta find it. When you go back to what Inri means to them, igne natura renovatu integra, through fire natures reborn whole, just through passion, just put passion for fire, through passion nature is reborn. It's something that the Bible doesn't teach, and yet you see it right there on the pagan symbol, the pagan symbol. Right, this on top of Jesus' head, which assumingly Pontius Pilatus put there, right, and he was a pagan. So Indri actually means basically follow your passions and you will come to life. But the Bible says that you should re refrain from the world, you should repent and renounce this world and the things of this world, which is the flesh. And this is gonna get you to life. Okay, so I found it. Acts 17, verse 24, The God who made the world and everything in it, being Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in temples made by men. Where do Catholic Christians go to when they worship God? They go into temples made by men, made of stone. The churches, the cathedrals, wherever.
fucking understand this. What else does God say about the body? Corinthians 3, verse 16 and verse 17. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy and you are that temple. So the temple of God is not found in human made temples out of stone. It's far better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust any human. Psalm 118, verse 8. Proverbs 3, verse 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't rely on your own intelligence. Know him in all your paths and he will keep your way straight. Isaiah 26, verse 4. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is a rock for all ages. Carved symbol of Catholic Christians, mainly it's Mother Mary with Joseph and this is Jesus. What does the Bible say about carved images made out of wood? Isaiah 45, verse 20. Assemble yourselves and come. Draw near together, you survivors of the nations. They have no knowledge who carry about their wooden idols and keep on praying to a God that cannot save. Who carries about their wooden or metal images, kisses them and touches them? Yeah. Catholic symbolism here. Isaiah 44, verse 9. All who fashion idols are nothing, and the things they delight in do not profit. Their witnesses neither see nor know that they may be put to shame. Do you see how shameful it is what they're doing now? Do you see it now? Habakkuk 2, verse 18. What profit is an idol when its maker has shaped it, a metal image, a teacher of lies? For its maker trusts in his own creation when he makes speechless idols. Isaiah 30, verse 22. Then you will defile your carved idols overlaid with silver and your gold-plated metal images. You will scatter them as unclean things. You will say to them, be gone. Because this is, once you wake up to all this stuff, this is what you're doing. You're, you're basically, you, you have all these images in your head and you basically throw them out and you let God into the, into the back into the temple, onto the throne of the temple. Isaiah 21 verse 9 And behold, here come riders, horsemen and pairs, and he answered, Fallen, fallen is Babylon, and all the carved images of her gods he has shattered to the ground. Meaning Jesus Christ. Kings 18, verse 4. He removed the high places and broke the pillars and cut down the Asherah. And he broke in pieces the bronze serpent that Moses had made. For until those days the people of Israel had made offerings to it. It was called Nehushtan, meaning that even the people of Israel were deceived. You have to understand. But the hour is coming and is now here, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for the Father is seeking such people to worship Him. God is spirit, and those who worship Him must worship in spirit and truth. John 4, verse 23 through 24. John was very, very right and very true in saying this. Corinthians 6, 19, verse, verse 19 through 20. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. Thessalonians 2. Verse 4, who opposes and exalts himself against every so-called God or object of worship, so that he takes his seat in the temple of God, proclaim, proclaiming himself to be God. Basically what Satan is doing, right? 
trying to destroy God's image and people are made of in the image of God. Hosea 11 verse 2 The more they were called, the more they went away. They kept sacrificing to the bars and burning offerings to idols. Burning offerings to idols again. And bars, if you don't know what it means, bars basically stands for Egypt. The obelisk, this erected, uh, erected spear, uh, whatever you want to call it, it symbolizes a sun ray and also what they would say is the phallus, the phallus of Baal. Okay, and this obelisk, this symbol is right in front of the Vatican on St. Peter's Square, put there by Pope Sixtus in the 1500s, on purpose. Burning offerings to idols. What do we see Catholic Christians do in their churches? They burn offerings. Incense. Leviticus 26, verse 1. You shall not make idols for yourselves or erect an image or a pillar. There we have the pillar, the obelisk. And you shall not set up a figured stone in your land to bow down to it. For I am the Lord your God. Somehow the Catholic Church is doing all these things that the Bible says God despises. So I wonder if they ever read the Bible. But then again I know they know the Bible in and out. And this is why they are doing it on purpose. Isaiah 42 verse 8 I am the Lord, that is my name, my glory I give to no other, nor my praise to carved idols. Carved idols also, graven images. There are many translations for this. Exodus 20 verse 1 through 26 and God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourselves a carved image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and the fourth generation of those who hate me. Deuteronomy 4 verse 16 through 19 Beware lest you act corruptly by making a carved image for yourselves in the form of any figure, the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any animal that is on the earth, the likeness of any winged bird that flies in the air, the likeness of any winged bird that flies in the air. Okay. That's, that's basically the depiction of the Holy Spirit of the Catholic Church. Do you see now the deception? The likeness of anything that creeps on the ground. The likeness of any fish that is in the water, under the earth. And beware lest you raise your eyes to heaven. And when you see the sun and the moon and the stars, all the hosts of heaven, you be drawn away and bow down to them and serve them. Things that the Lord your God has allotted to all the peoples under the whole heaven.